Fibromyalgia is a chronic pain condition that can make it difficult to work. If this occurs, you may turn to your long-term disability benefits. However, proving disability due to fibromyalgia to your insurance company can be difficult. For example, there are no conclusive diagnostic tests for the condition. Additionally, given that fibromyalgia's primary symptoms include pain, fatigue, and brain fog, the insurer may dismiss these as being self-reported. But it is still possible to receive LCD benefits for fibromyalgia, and today we're going to talk about how. Hi, I'm Leah Small, supervising attorney here at Chisholm, Chisholm, and Kilpatrick, a leading public interest law firm based in Providence, Rhode Island. In this video, I'll be discussing what fibromyalgia is, why it can be so difficult to receive LCD benefits for it, and what you can do to increase your odds. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more long-term disability content. So to start, let's talk about what fibromyalgia is. Fibromyalgia is a complex but often misunderstood medical condition that causes joint and muscular pain. Some common symptoms of fibromyalgia include constant or recurring pain throughout the body, fatigue, and cognitive difficulties often referred to as fibrofog. This illness can impact a person's ability to work because it affects the entire body. In addition to the discomfort and distraction from pain, fibromyalgia can reduce an individual's ability to focus on mental tasks. This lack of focus can lead to mistakes or missed work deadlines. Chronic pain can also make certain physical tasks impossible, such as sitting for extended periods, bending, or light lifting. Additionally, fibromyalgia may be accompanied by other conditions such as IBS, chronic fatigue syndrome, anxiety, and depression, which can further negatively impact an individual's ability to work. Despite fibromyalgia being a potentially very disabling medical condition, insurance companies still frequently deny such claims. One of the primary reasons given for these denials is lack of objective medical evidence. This is due in part to the fact that fibromyalgia does not have a specific diagnostic test, and does not show up on traditional medical tests such as x-rays or blood work. Insurance companies are used to relying on these when evaluating LTD claims, which can make a fibromyalgia claim difficult. Additionally, as discussed above, the primary symptoms of fibromyalgia, such as pain and fatigue, are often considered by insurance companies to be self-reported. All of this can lead to the insurance company questioning the severity of the condition and reported symptoms. Some LTD policies may actually require objective evidence in order to be entitled to LTD benefits, which can be difficult to provide for a claim based on fibromyalgia. Other policies may limit benefits for claims that lack objective evidence or are based on self-reported symptoms. However, there are ways that LTD claimants with fibromyalgia can strengthen their claims. One of the most important things you can do is treat with a rheumatologist, which is a specialist in autoimmune disorders and muscle inflammation. Not only can this be beneficial for a claimant's health and treatment, but treatment from a specialist is often given more weight by insurance companies compared with treatment from a primary care physician. Additionally, it is also a best practice to keep detailed records of your symptoms on a day-to-day -day basis, how severe they are, and how they impact your activities. Even though insurers may give these less weight to the source of subjective evidence, this documentation can still help support and reinforce a claim. Maintaining a symptom journal and regularly discussing these symptoms with your doctor can establish a pattern of disability over time. Even if you feel like you're repeating yourself, it is important to mention your symptoms during each visit with your doctor, because if you don't, your doctor may not mention it in their treatment notes, and your insurer may interpret this as a lack of symptoms. Other examples of good supplemental evidence can include witness statements from family, friends, or coworkers, vocational evaluations, more detailed reports from treating doctors, and functional capacity evaluations. If you're suffering from fibromyalgia or any other condition that's preventing you from working and need help with your long-term disability claim or appeal, we may be able to help. CCK has been helping LCD claimants since 1999 get the benefits they need. Our team is ready to assist you at any stage of the process. You can reach out to us at any time, either by phone or via a form on our website, for a free case evaluation with a member of our team to see if we can help you. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more LCD content. Take care.